Hey guys, Money here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a super easy way to farm unlimited rep in Need for Speed Payback. Now, this is using the Drift the Block, and um, it's also pretty good for money, but the money side of it is not as good, so just keep that in mind. But the rep side of it is very good, and it's very, very quick to do. Now, um, this is very simple to do, and you're just drifting, obviously, you're just drifting the whole thing. And it's a... Uh, it's a small course it's only like three kilometers long like just three point something and um, it's very easy to do and if you have a more powerful car obviously it's easier for you to do too um my car is not the greatest my drift car right now it's only at like 180 something uh level or whatever so it's not the greatest right now but um it still does this very simple and very easily you could probably do this with a very low level car too or like a base car so um yeah and you get roughly a hundred and twenty thousand rep every two minutes pretty much and um that can get you leveled up very quickly and also you get depending on what the side bet is and how easy the side bet is or how hard it is um you can get between like two thousand and like fifty five hundred extra dollars on top of that as well as the seven thousand whatever it is to actually finish the whole race so you get a uh, little over uh, five or a little over ten thousand dollars to finish the race as well so ten grand in um, two minutes is pretty good as well and uh, you also get whatever you get from the speed card you also get um you also get money from that depending on what the speed card is you can get between like two thousand and like five thousand I think if you sell it or you can get a trade in point or you just can level up your car really quick so whatever you want to do that's how you can get it so as you can see there event completed it's under two minutes actually uh just under two minutes including loading times and all that stuff keep in mind my loading times are on the xbox one x so it might be a little bit different for me than it is for you so there i got an extra almost three thousand dollars and i also got 7300 for actually completing the race so i just got ten thousand two hundred and eighty five dollars and i got a hundred and eighteen thousand rep so it is very very easy to do and you also get your speed card which you can obviously add onto your car if you need it or you can just sell it you can get 20 for this level i believe i can get 2800 or something like that or you can get one trading point so um yeah in this video though i'm going to be doing this three times just to show you how easy it is this one the avoid coming off the road it's very weird because i definitely came off the road in this video but it actually didn't count it and i still completed the side bet which is good so i got an extra like five some thousand um but here are the points that you need 68,000 to actually complete it that's very easy to hit and i think you get a little bit of a rep boost if you complete the uh auto log on the right hand side if you beat that score i think you get a rep boost but i'm not 100 percent sure on that but this one like i said it's very very easy to do um very easy to do and as you can see right here i came off the road completely but i still won the side bet which is very weird i don't understand that but um, yeah, again, this is another two minutes and I get another 118,000 rep. And I also get a little bit more money this time. I think I get 11 or 12,000 um, because the side bet is actually worth more. So again, it all depends on how much your side bet is worth and um, all of that stuff. So here we're just going to run this play out. I think there's a total of three laps pretty much around this whole area. And if you're really good at drifting and if your car is set up pretty good, then you can pretty much drift train this whole thing. Like, you will not break that drift train at all. And that's very easy to do. But my car is not that powerful and it's not really set up that good right now. So, it's really not the greatest. Like, it's set up alright, but I, I could be a little bit more drifty, if that makes sense. Like, a little bit easier to take it or to uh, initiate a drift. Like when you're just going in a straight line, a little bit easier to control it as well. Because mine, right now, it's a little bit difficult. Even in the corns, it's a little bit difficult to actually hit it. But as you can see there, finish it another two minutes pretty much. Uh, 233,000 score. And apparently I beat that auto log, which I fucking didn't, but okay. And as you can see, I got the side bed is completed. So I got an, an extra, um, got an extra 5,100. As well as a 7,300 on top of that. So I got 12,500 almost. And I also got, again, 118,000 rep. And it's very easy to do. And I think every time you level up your rep, you get um, you get a shipment. So you can get more money from that. And also trading cards as well. So um, very easy to do. And here we're going to do it one more time. But I'm going to speed through this one. This one very easily drift continues for 400 meters. And that's incredibly easy to do. I'm telling you right now. But um, yeah, uh, we're just going to speed through this one here. 
But yeah, as you can see, it's very easy to complete this mission, and it's a very easy way to get yourself some reps. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. We're coming up towards the end of it now, and in this total video, six minutes and something, or just under six minutes, including this uh, little sped up part, I got like 360,000 rep almost, and right around $30,000, or probably a little bit more, probably closer to 40. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I do hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.